Before we begin today's video, just know I have not played Minecraft on a PC in about two months. So yes, I suck. But that's okay. Just give me maybe a month and I'll be just as good as I was before. I've never done one of these before. Hope you like it. Let's get started. The first one is my gym teacher screamed at my math teacher. So this was a while ago. We were chilling in math class and since it was a holiday, our teacher decided that we can watch a movie. We had a great time. I forgot what movie it was, but I remember the movie said the S word and we started going blastic, laughing our heads off. You know, we were in third grade, so this kind of stuff was funny. I remember I was drawing and sitting in the back because I love talking to my friends and the teacher. I heard my gym teacher Bruh. call my math teacher outside. So my math teacher walked outside. I don't know what he said, but what he said triggered a loud scream from him. It echoed out of the hallway, and some of my fellow classmates even looked at the door. The math teacher came in. She looked blank, but she looked shocked too. I think one of the other teachers had to escort her out so they could talk. Ever since that day, I have thought less of my Bruh. gym teacher. So this next story is called the time I found a group of kids who all had the same name as me. I was around roughly seven to eight years old. I was at my stepbrother's junior high baseball game. I've never really been a sports kind of person, but my dad and stepbrother were, so I was there anyways. Needless to say, I was bored and decided to wander around the park. There were a bunch of other games happening in the park, but I peered down a hill behind the snack shack and saw three kids, roughly my age, playing an old, unused softball field. I decided to join them. I made my way down the hill and the kids took notice. Excitedly, they all ran over and asked me if I wanted to play with them. Well, duh. I introduced myself and said, hi, my name is Andrew. All three kids instantly froze with bulging eyes. I was obviously confused, but then one kid spoke. Wait, your name is also Andrew? Turns out all three of them were also named Andrew. They weren't related, didn't look alike, and never met before that day. We sat together and pondered life or whatever it is that second graders do. Cool kids, never saw them again after that day. also couldn't care less about baseball, so naturally we found each other. We even joked about forming a baseball team of all Andrews and naming ourselves Picking and the Lions. This is such a crazy story. The fact that that ever happened is crazy. My mom thought I died. This is a pretty crazy story. And it's kind of funny. When I was around six years old, I had a cat, you know, Cats, they're so cute, so lovable. I loved her so much. And so I decided to name her after me, Emily. She literally had the same name, spelled the, sa the same exact way, and is pronounced the same way. Sadly, this cat was handicapped. I didn't realize it at the time because I was young, but she wouldn't live very long. Fast forward one month, late at night, my dad found my cat lying dead. So he ran to my mom shouting, Emily died, Emily died. Well, the cat Emily died and my mom thought I had died. She was in shock. After this, my parents made a rule about never again naming an animal after a person we know. 